And if you're looking for options to frame your jigsaw puzzles as artwork, this video is for you. So I just finished a jigsaw puzzle that I'm going to frame and I decided well, let me turn this camera on because I do get questions about how to frame, what to use to frame. So inside my hobby room slash office right now I have three different options going on to frame puzzles as artwork. So I thought let me turn the camera on and share it and hopefully this will be helpful to someone. Now I'm going to show you two different cheaper poster frame options and I'll tell you which one is my favorite kind. I'm also going to show you a wooden glass frame option and I'll show you putting my lightest puzzle in there but of course that will be a future edit that will go into this video and then I will show you two puzzles in the past that I had framed and matted as artwork and they're absolutely lovely. Um, so let's get to it. Um, this is the one I just sat down and did and yes I'm going to glue it because I am going to frame this. Um, I just haven't done that yet and speaking of glue let me just say really quickly on here I glue my puzzles that I'm going to keep and I glue them because I want to make sure there's no way it's coming apart <laughs> and I've been doing this for over 20 years so I'm not going to change my ways but yes I know there are alternate ways to do it um, I had someone in the comments not too long ago tell me they used adhesive spray I've never done that so I'm not going to I can't speak on how well that works for me because I've never done it, but they said it works, so that was pretty cool. And then my friend Nikki over at Nick's Picks, she has a video where she framed a puzzle without gluing or adhesive spray or anything, so that was pretty cool. And I will link that video down in my description below if you would like to see that because I thought that was really, really neat. But as far as gluing puzzles, I'm not going to change my ways. I glue them because if I glue them, I'm keeping it as artwork and I'm good with that. And if it's a puzzle that I really, really like that I know I'm going to want to repuzzle, I buy two of them. So that problem is solved on my end. But I love these Thomas Kincaid art prints that are puzzles so I get a win-win I get to do the puzzle and then I get to keep it to look at so I just love it so let's talk about this little one it came out of one of these four piece, piece sets where you get four or five hundred piece puzzles in there and they are 18 inches by 14 inches uh, these puzzles and stock poster frames do not come in this size so let's talk about it I've already done this one I did this one a couple years ago and I'll link the video to that of framing it and I'll show it to you right now okay so here's the Lion King the 18 by 14 and it's in this beautiful gold frame I absolutely love it and I got this frame and I'm going to preference this with I am not sponsored I'm just telling you where I got it I got this from art to frames they are in Brooklyn, New York. All the frames are made in the USA. So once you order one, they make them. And you get to pick your frame and even your glass on some of them. But this is a real frame. It's real glass. It's beautiful. So that's what I did last time. So a couple months ago, they had the 18 by 14 frames. And it was for this flat black frame. Um, with no design in it or anything 18 by 14 they had them on sale for $13 so with the budget I had at the time I ordered five of them because I knew I was going to be doing some of those puzzles there uh, to frame them so I was like let me go ahead and jump on that because I wanted the real glass I just love the look of it love it and I'll show you the back So it makes it really easy to pop your puzzle in. You just lift these things up. We've all seen those. Pull this out, pop it in. And then it has this where you attach it, you know, if you're going to hang it vertical or horizontal. So it's perfect. And they come, they come packaged so great. They're not going to break. They do a tremendous job. So again, not sponsored. This is just who I've been getting my custom size frames from for these puzzles now let's talk about the cheaper options and why I jumped on these at $13 for those small ones that's about the same price you're gonna pay for these cheap poster frames if they're not on sale 
And I'll tell you, I have these cheap poster frames and the reason I went with these and this kind here, sorry guys, this kind here that these three are framed in are the frames that you have to, you have to pull off and put on. And I have a video about gluing and framing with these cheap frames and I'll link that. I'll, I'll put it in the card above in the description below. <laughs> But I hate these. They are aggravating. Well, one, they're made for posters, so it's a little bit more difficult when you're trying to uh, put a puzzle in there, and it's just so aggravating. But I ended up getting these because when I puzzled this one, and this is the thousand piece castle puzzle. Oh gosh, I can't remember its dimensions, but it is not the same as these 750 piece ones. Uh, these. These are the 750 piece that are in here and they are 24 by 18. And I don't remember the dimensions of these, but they did not have a stock size poster frame for the size of the castle one. So I went with this bigger poster one that they had and it fits and it looks okay. You can see how I made it fit in there. But because it's so bulky and how it's just in there, like I can't get the sides of the frames to line up. Even if I push them together, they eventually come apart. I absolutely hate it. So I always knew I would eventually switch these out, these cheap poster frames. So there's that one. But I have one more of them because they were on sale at Michael's for like $8 a piece. So when I got that one, I just picked up some more because I was like, well, I need them to all look the same because I was hanging all the princess puzzles around the castle. But that was my delay on putting Cinderella together <laughs> was because I just really did not want to put it in this cheap poster frame with the pull apart sides. Now, having talked about that, there are other poster frames. Sorry if I gave you a whiplash. There are other poster frames that are not the pull apart frames. These are my favorite. If I'm going to use a poster frame, these are it. These, uh, they have a fatter frame. And I initially started with these because I thought that would be fun because I could decorate the sides, if you can see, with puffy paint. And I thought that would be fun. But then I just didn't really... <laughs> I just didn't really like it, so when I framed the mermaid, I did not do the puffy paint on this plastic frame. But I mean, Peter Pan is pretty with the with the puffy paint on it. That's pretty. But I'll show you. Let me. I can't even work the zoom, and there goes the air again. Let me. <laughs> let me pull this off the wall. There we go. And I'll show you the back of these. Why I love these the best. So if you're not gonna go with a glass frame. These thicker, thicker frames that don't come apart are the best because it's the same as the art to frame ones I was just showing you. You just lift these up, you know, get all those up, pop your thing out, put your puzzle in. Um, easy, easy peasy. And there's no, like those, there's no sliding the frame back on. Like this one, I'm probably going to gift away because I don't want to slide the frame back on. <laughs> okay so and that's another main reason I was definitely started to glue these because I knew that these kind of frames were not a permanent solution and then when I framed Lion King when I framed Lion King I loved this so much oh yeah I knew that I would be I would eventually be going with the glass frames versus um, I think this is like a, an acrylic or not really sure but it's just like a plastic clear piece you know it's just the whole thing's cheap and plasticky but let me talk about this because I also ordered this one was on sale but it came in I haven't even undone it but see the blue color on this now this is the same size as those the 750 piece which are the main ones that I have like Peter Pan right here and I was thinking about doing this for Cinderella um, start putting Cinderella look at that blue color I mean it's absolutely beautiful but I got to looking at Alice in Wonderland and the colors in this oh 
So I really, really think instead of Cinderella, I'll save my money up to order more of these. Hopefully they'll go on sale again. <laughs> I think Alice in Wonderland will be a better option in this frame. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you're a puzzle geek like me, just let me know what you think. And then I thought, Alice in Wonderland in this blue frame that's so pretty, I'm going to hang it up there above my pin board. I think. I think. So, and let me just go show you, because I mentioned it earlier before I wrap this video up, um, keeping puzzles, doing puzzles to keep for art. And I'll show you two that I absolutely love, but they are not in here in my office slash hobby room. Okay, so I'm bringing you to the master bathroom. <laughs> and back here is Marilyn. And I love her, look at her. But I wanted her and Elvis, I'm gonna show you in the living room. I wanted them in a matte frame. So these definitely had to be glued. That's another reason they're glued. But these are puzzles I did not wanna do again. And Marilyn was super challenging, and so was Elvis. So I'm good never doing these puzzles again. But I, I loved the challenge, and I love having it as artwork. So, yeah. So there she is. And we're in this rental house, and the tiles in the puzzle kind of resemble the tiles that we have. We have the original tub. Let me show you. There we go. So it kind of mimics that so she's just perfect in here and she's been in here over a year this is a real frame so it's real framed with a mat so she had to be glued in order to do this and uh yeah she hasn't nothing has happened to her she hasn't bubbled up there's the moisture is fine in here um so i'm pretty pleased but i'm not saying hang puzzles in frames or hang artwork in your bathrooms i mean that's a decision you'll have to make but i haven't had any issues now let's go see Elvis. Okay, and here we are in the living room, and here's Elvis. Sorry for all the glare going on. TV's on where my husband's been playing his Xbox. But there he is, and he is also matted in a frame, glass frame. And I, I love it. I love the look of it. I love that it's in glass. It just solidifies the puzzle as a piece of art. What's that? Which I absolutely love. Okay, coming back into my office now. All right, uh, hobby room slash office, but more of an office these days being quarantined and working from home full time now. Um, but those are your options. You have these cheaper, the slide on frames here, which are gonna be your cheapest option, but the most aggravating option if you're putting puzzles in them. Just gonna let you know that right now. And this is your next cheapest, which is the thicker framed poster frames, but you don't have to slide the frame on. That's what I love. So that makes these my favorite for cheap, lightweight option. And then of course you have the glass frames. Okay, future puzzle here. <laughs> it is glued, and I always let my puzzles dry overnight, so here it is. It's all glued and dried, and I'm going to show you putting it in its new glass frame. So, here's the frame, and like I said, it's, it's super easy. Let me move this out of the way. It's super easy. I'm just gonna pop these tabs up and this is the same process you will use um, if you use the poster frame that I like the most with the thicker frame it just has this kind of backing on it so same process so you just gotta lift up all these little metal tabs that are holding this in here and we'll pull out Oh, this doesn't even have a piece of paper. Most of them have a piece of paper in there. But this is just a full uh, cardboard backing. That's great. Okay, so there it is. It's ready. So I'm gonna get my puzzle. And since it's glued, easy peasy. Just gonna pop it in here. And <laughs> look at that. It fits perfect. It actually takes up the entire space. This custom frame. Amazing. So now I'm just going to put the backing back in there, but I don't want that to show, so I'm going to put that back like it was. 
and then you just flip the tabs back down. I mean, it couldn't be more simpler than this. Versus those other cheap poster frames, you have to line everything up, you pop the, the frame plastic pieces off, you line everything up, and then you slide those things back on. Mm -mm. So, but if you're interested in those or have those, um, there's definitely a video that I already linked. It'll also be in the description below if you'd like to see those cheaper, the cheapest pull apart frames. Okay, here we go. Look, isn't that beautiful? I do have a glare going on. I cannot. I'll try to get a better shot of this. Um, but let me flip it back over because I have this thing, these things. Went and got the rubber mallet out of my husband's tools, of course. That's where I get everything. <laughs> and these are the little um, hangers that came with it. And maybe hindsight's 2020. Maybe I should have done this before for the gloss in, but it's been a while since I did Lion King. Um, but I think it shouldn't be too bad. And I'll just use this mallet. I'm not using a hammer to smash it in there. Just going to gently drive these in to each side to hang this puzzle. And there it is. Hung it right above Lion King. That looks so good. So, after over a year, <laughs> I have another puzzle finally hung up in my new hobby slash office. Ah, love it. Let me know what you think. All right, back to when I originally was filming this video. Keep in mind, the glass frames are going to be heavier, so it's just a personal choice what you would rather. The poster frames are lightweight. They're lovely. That's one of the things I do love about them. They're so lightweight. I do like that, but I really like the look, as you saw with Marilyn and Elvis. Oh, and just keep in mind, if you're watching this and you do like these uh, Disney Thomas Kincaid puzzles by Seiko and you do them too, if you are going to frame them and you get these box sets, they come in the 18 by 14, as I said. But just know, you're not going to find a stock poster frame for those. They don't come in that size. This 18 by 24 is the most popular size you'll find almost anywhere if you go to a store that sells poster frames. That is the most popular. They always have that size. So, just keep that in mind. You will not find those. You will have to do something custom but you may be able to get it cheaper i'm not sure um don't quote me on it because i wanted the glass but you might be able to get this acrylic see-through instead of glass not sure but maybe research and check around if you want to okay that's it i hope this was helpful in some way thank you so much for watching i hope wherever you are having a great day be sweet